Hi, I'm Allison Langen from EMC's Backup and Recovery Systems Division. I'm going to take the next few minutes to discuss with you the differences between backup and archive, the importance of each, and why you need both as part of your overall data protection strategy. So why do you need both backup and archive? First, let's review the differences in business value of each. At a high level, a backup is about making sure your data is recoverable, while an archive ensures that your data is accessible when you need it. Backups are secondary copies of information that are used, to rec used for recovering data to get an end user business back up and running in the event of a disaster. This is constantly changing information that is generally kept short term, about three to six months, and is periodically overwritten. Because backups are designed for quick recovery, they're not the ideal process for keeping data long term. Archives, on the other hand, are not copies, but a primary instance of data that is no longer being used or is inactive. An archive is the, when you take the primary piece of data and move it off of primary storage onto a more cost-effective protection storage tier. When data is no longer changing or is inactive, but you need to keep it for compliance purposes or want to keep it because it has business value, it's best to move it off of primary storage and onto protection storage to keep it long term. Archives are about being able to access your information, usually at an individual file, email, or other individual piece of content level. So although backup and archive are different types of data that require different processes, they're still complementary workloads that are part of an overall data protection strategy. So a lot of businesses today are treating backup and archive as the same thing, if they're even thinking about archiving at all. However, as I've discussed, backups are not archives. If you are archiving, chances are you're treating them as separate, completely separate workloads, resulting in these separate storage silos. So while backup and archive data do need to be managed by separate applications, they don't need to be separated onto different silos of storage. With EMC's software and storage solutions, we're uniquely positioned to manage both of these workloads with the appropriate backup and archiving applications, but also able to store both of these workloads onto a single data domain system eliminating these unnecessary storage silos. So with EMC's data protection solutions, such as the Data Protection Suite and EMC's data domain systems, you are able to store your backup and archive data more efficiently and more cost effectively. So for more information on backup and archive data, please visit emc.com slash backup and archive. Thank you for watching.